Shalom, my name is Karen and I'm a core member here at Bethlehem Messianic Congregation. In today's Brit Hadashah Meditation Minute, we take a look at the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 28 through 34. Yeshua is speaking to his Talmudim about the coming of the Son of Man. In verse 28 through 30, Yeshua says, Likewise, as it was in the time of Lot, people ate and drank, bought and sold, planted and built. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them. That is how it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. He then goes on to mention Lot's wife to remind them to not look back. He urges them to not focus on preserving their own life, but to rather lose it in order to gain life. When we take a look at the Torah portion, Baira, he appeared in Genesis chapter 22, we see how it connects to the Brit Hadashah portion. Adonai appears to Abraham and tells him his plan to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, for their sins had grown serious and he could not tolerate their wickedness anymore. Abraham pleads to God and asks to not destroy it if only a few righteous are found. God agrees and spares his nephew Lot. God then sends three angels to Lot and tells him to leave immediately with his family. Verse 17 says, Flee for your life. Don't look behind you and don't stop anywhere in the plain but escaped to the hills. Lot and his daughters remembered the words the angels told them, but Lot's wife did not. And as a result, she lost her life by turning into a pillar of salt. While meditating, I kept thinking of Luke chapter 17, verse 26. It says, it will be just as it was at the time of Noah. So as the years pass by, I believe the veil is being lifted and we are now seeing wickedness start to rise, just as it was back then in both the days of Noah and Lot. Many times we get caught up in our materialistic life and forget what our true purpose is. So I pray that we can meditate on God's word with more urgency so we may be ready and not be taken by surprise. May we focus less on the things we have here on earth and not look back, for Yeshua is coming soon, and he is bringing with him great rewards. Shavuot Tov.